Aloha. Thanks for considering the views expressed in this think tech commentary. How productive was COP26? Climate change is inexorable, but with all the rhetoric, where are we now? Joe Biden's Build Back Better provisions and funding on climate change would help. More than that, it would be symbolic for other nations, and would encourage them to do more. But frankly it's not clear that Build Back Better and its climate change provisions will pass the Senate, so don't get your hopes up just yet. The idea is for the US and the world, to focus and commit to a global collaboration, to come together without reservation, to implement an affirmative plan to protect humanity and the common good. But sadly we're not there yet. So far, even though many recognize the threat, our collective efforts don't go nearly far enough to save us. The activists at COP26 had presence and raised troubling questions but they didn't seem focused. The reparations idea, for example, demonstrated that lack of focus, and was not helpful. We're not getting ahead of some eight change and in fact we're losing ground. Some say the only thing that will wake us up is something more catastrophic. We're a frog in the water, ignoring the plagues that are boiling us. Fires, floods, storms, heat waves, sea level rise, disease, social, agricultural and economic damage if not complete collapse. An apocalypse in which many will suffer and perish. It sounds biblical. In the face of all that, yes, we still have coal. This dark scenario will make the point all the more undeniable, and undeliable, and should motivate more of us to do something, but by then it may be too late for many of us, if not most of us. Time and physics do not wait, the clock is visibly running out. We count on the protest generation because we can't count on ourselves. We hope they will deny greed, talk truth to power, and consider the impacts of all individual, collective, and governmental action, spending, and investment. At the same time, the world is moving to autocracy, not only by the emergence of autocrats but by the popular acceptance of them, and that is the very opposite of altruism and caring about the planet, and humanity. So it's becoming all the more difficult for that generation to get to be in charge and do things. COP26 shows us that the unfocused approach we've been taking is not working. Regrettably, we, and that means the next leadership generation, which may be the last generation that can do anything about this, is going to have to learn the hard way. Watch this space. Thanks for considering the views expressed in this think tech commentary. Mahalo for listening.